Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Team Rocket from Pokemon. And of course, Pokemon is definitely one of our childhood favorite. Here's the left box, here is the right of the box, and here is the back of the box. And let's not waste any more time and bust this thing open and see what we got. And here we have the figures still in their new packaging, and again, the amount of accessories we're getting from these Pokemon figures seems to be very limited. Um, but I'm gonna give Bandai the benefit of the doubt that this is the best they can do for us. Um, but anyways, um, let's check out the figure itself. And here we have Team Rocket right out of the box. And as expected from SH Figure Arts, they look very good for the most part. Um, very nicely painted and sculpted, and I don't seem to have any paint issues. But that said, I have one big problem with these figures, um, which is I think they're way too big for my taste. Because from what I remember in the 90s anime, um, they're a lot more slim. And I know they're based off of the new look from the movie, but it's just not my cup of tea. And do let me know in the comments on what you think, but I really wish they could be a little bit more slim. And let's take a closer look at James over here. And let me take Vegeta here, um, just so you guys can compare and, you know, just feel how big he is. And yeah, I think they're just way too fat. And I don't think they blend in too well with other SH figures and Figma. I mean, if you're only buying Pokemon figures, then it should be fine. But for someone like me who collects a lot of stuff, this really bothers me a lot. And let's take a closer look at Jesse here. Um, I love the shading and the hair. Um, I think this thing is hollow, so it's not too heavy. And yeah, looks really good. And let's check out the articulation for Jesse and James. And for the articulation, let's start out with Jessie. Um, she can look up about this much, look down about this much, and you can turn her head no problem. Um, no real articulation in the hair. And for the shoulder, it's just on a standard ball joint. You can move it around, or raise her arm about that much. And this is on a softer material, so you won't have to worry about all this um, hindering your articulation. And you do have um, bicep swivel over here. You can curl about this much, and you do have the ball wrist, of course. For the app part, you can bend forward about this much, bend backwards about this much, have some side to side movement. And the leg, I think she's using the, yeah, she's using the older pull down method. And I think all this is on a softer material, even a diaper piece over here. And she can kick her leg up about this much, bend about this much, side to side pivot, toe hinge. And I believe that's it for the articulation. And let's check out James. And for James, let's quickly go over here from the neck down. He can look up, can't really look down. You can turn his head, no problem. And the shoulder is just on a standard ball joint as well. You can raise his arm up about this much. You do have shoulder swivel, bicep swivel, and you can curl about this much, and you do have the ball wrist. And for the upper arms, you can bend forward about this much, backward about this much, have some side to side movement. And I like Jesse, he doesn't have a softer material over here, so it's gonna be a little bit hindering. And for the hip, he does have the older style pull down joint as well. You have a swivel in there. Kick up about this much, bend about this much, side to side pivot, and you do have the toe hinge as well. And I believe that's it for the articulation, and let's jump straight into the accessories. Oh no, while we're at it, let's check out Meow over here. So he does have a ball joint in the head, ball joint in the shoulder, ball joint in the tail, and let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, they really don't have a whole lot. Um, they just each get a pair of fists and display open hands, um, like this, um, over here, and a fist. And next up, we get one right pointing finger hand for Jesse and one right hand that's holding a rose for James. And lastly, they all get an expression where they got blown away. And that's it for the accessories and let's check out the size comparison. And for the size comparison, let us start with the SH Figure Arts Pokemon figures and they look pretty good together. Obviously, Charizard is a little bit too small, but I don't think Bandai is going to make a $300 Charizard anytime soon. And next up, we have some SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball figures some American IP SH Figure Arts, some Naruto SH Figure Arts. Next up, we have the SH Figure Arts Street Fighters and Mascot 112. Some SH Figure Arts Kamen Riders. And lastly, we have some recent Figma figures and Bring Art Sora from Square Enix. And let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so overall, despite how much I like Pokemon and SH Figure Arts, I did not like this Team Rocket set. And do hear me out, because the figure does look great and it's got amazing articulation. And I can even look over the fact that it's slightly bigger in scale. But the lack of accessory is killing me. It just completely kills the experience for me. Like, what am I going to do with it? There's only so much I can do in terms of display with so little. It's not fun. It's ridiculous. And I feel like Bandai has been doing this a lot lately, where they're just cutting back on their costs. And I still want to give them the benefit of the doubt that, you know, they have to do this in order to be profitable. 
uh, because of the material cost or factory cost or you know just the intellectual property cost right but the bottom line is i'm not having a good experience here but anyways um do let me know in the comments on what you think and this is eric don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace